Generation Strength and welcome to day 4 of the 30 day Strength from Home Workout Challenge where we're going to be working out every single day for the next 30 days. Today we've got full body, so we're going to be working all the major muscles. We're going to be doing 15 minutes, 5 exercises, 3 rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds rest. If you haven't already, please download the self-assessment. You can find it on the videos of the day zero self-assessment. That way you can test yourself from where your baseline is from the beginning. And then you can retest yourself again on day 30 to see the progress and the strength that you've made throughout the course of the challenge. So I'm going to start with a warm-up. Come to the center of your mat. Side to side, same warm-up as the other days. Hips stay forward, okay, I'm not swinging the hips too much. Toes are pointing forward, knees are forward. I'm rotating from the upper mid back, okay, so I'm not trying to rotate the lower spine and the hips too much. I'm going through the full range of motion. I'm going to go down into a squat around the world. You're going to sweep the floor as you come down. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Take the hips back. Keep the weight on the heels. Hips go back. Knees stay out. Knees don't come in. I'm going down as far as I can. And then I'm reaching up. Switch directions. Again, nice and slow through the movement. We don't want to be swinging through. Nice and controlled. Take the hips back. You shouldn't feel this in the knees. If you do, make sure you sit the hips back a little bit further. Keep the weight on the heels. Push up off the heels as you go up. Now we've got squat to push. Take the legs a little bit wider. Come down. Okay, so I'm open here. I reach up as high as I can. Toes slightly pointed out, not too much. I push open the hips. I reach up, as I reach up, I straighten the legs, and I squeeze the glutes to the top. When I'm going down as far as we can, okay, so I'm not bending with the back. Okay, I'm not coming forward with the knees. I'm going straight down, the back is straight. I'm going as low as I can, and as I come up, I squeeze here. Now, down to downward dog. The end of the mat. Bend the knees if you have to. You should feel the stretch of the hamstrings. Feel the lower back relaxing. Bring the leg through. Foot open, hip open. In the center. Shoulder rotations. So the arm is fully straight, like the hand of the clock, and I'm opening up the chest. I'm pointing my hand, I'm following my thumb with my eyes so that my neck rotates around. Back to downward dog, again bend the knees if you want to, otherwise keep them straight. Other leg through, open again, same on this side. So what you might find if you've got poor thoracic mobility, meaning that the upper back is slightly rounded or you spend a lot of time sitting at the computer, you might find that it looks more like this. Okay, so the arms are straight. Also, the chest is quite tight and I don't have much extension in the upper back, which is what we'll see if we go fully round, opening up the chest. Okay, so try to straighten the arm as much as possible. Try to open up the chest here as you come round. Back to downward dog. Bend the knees, we're gonna jump the feet to the hands. Come up very slowly. Straight into leg swings. Hand is behind the bum. Nice and controlled movement. Okay, I'm not swinging too much. Not feeling any pressure in my lower back here. It's up nice, slow and controlled. Back until the glutes engaged. Yesterday we did core and glutes. So you should be feeling it a little bit more if you're following along day to day. Now we're going to switch. that the glutes engage and you don't need to go any further back. If we go further back we, we risk 
Uh, getting that tight lower back and incorporating the lower back more than we need to. Let's move to the warm up is ankle flexibility. Come far enough away from the wall so that when you're you're not touching it easily. So I'm coming a little bit further away so I almost touch. Very important that the knee goes towards the outside of the foot. A lot of times we have knee valgus, a lot of women have it where the knee comes in. So it looks like this. So if we are doing an ankle flexibility and the knee comes in, we're just adding a lot more pressure to the knee. Could be a reason why it hurts you if you squat, hurts you getting up out of the chair, hurts you if you're deadlifting. We want to make sure that the knees aren't coming in. Could be an issue that's starting from the foot, having flat feet. Could be an issue that comes from the hips. Just want to make sure that the knees are always out. So when in doubt, the knees are out, not coming into the center line of the body. Okay, warm up complete. Hmm. Grab yourself a drink. Five exercises. Full body, we're doing 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. If you want to grab a chair, this is going to be the alternative exercise for people that haven't worked out very much, haven't worked out in the last six months, or are new to exercise. So this is going to be more modification. So I'll show you the first exercise, we're going to do a squat to the side lunge, and come down into the squat, come out, leg straight, knee bent. Down into the squat, leg straight, knee bent. I'm upright, my chest is forward, I'm not here and I'm not coming onto my toe. We're going to do 20 seconds on that side, 20 seconds on the other side. For modification of that, we're going to come to the chair. We want to be far out enough in front that when we sit down, it's not on the hamstrings. We don't want to be too far that we can't touch the chair. So when you come down, make sure that the bum can reach the bottom of the chair. That's your cue to come back up. So we're not resting at the bottom of the down. And up. So when I touch, I come up, I squeeze the glute, I take the leg out to the side, this stays straight, this one bends, the knee follows the top, I come down as far as I'm comfortable. And it's the same again, here, here, feet, hip width apart, down. So 20 seconds here, 20 seconds the other side. Okay, we're starting in 10, so center of the mat. We're gonna do right leg first, then left leg. Three. So I come down, I sit down. The leg goes out. Back to center. You can do what you want with your hands. The legs happen in front of me, swing them back to power up and off the foot from the lunge position. Remember, toes are pointing forward. I'm taking a narrower stance than usual, just so that it's easier to get into the lunge. So now, same on this side, we're going down into the squat. We're going out. So you should feel the stretch in the adductor on this side. You should feel the outer hip and the quad working on this side. Okay, first exercise done. Next one, we've got plank get ups. So, I'll show you the modified version next. But we're going to be in the plank position. Okay, legs. Legs are the edge of the mat. Come up. This is under my shoulder, I come up, I go back down, up. 20 seconds with this arm, 20 seconds with the other arm. For a modified vision, you can come on the chair, and we're going to be here. You can either hold this, or you can do the come up, just make sure that the chair is stable. I come down, 20 seconds here, up, and then I'm going to switch, I'm going to go on the other side. So, I'm down, my lower back's not sagging and it's not rounded up. I'm coming up. Try not to swing the hips too much. Okay, now we've got scapula hold, I'm going to work the back. Back's a hard muscle to get the mind muscle connection with. It takes a little bit of practice. So, elbows at the side, knees bent. From here, we're going to push, drive the elbows in, squeeze the shoulder. 
So here I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, trying to relax the neck. It's going to be a little bit tight. If you want to take your legs down to modify, you can also work in the core here with bracing the core. If this moves a touch too difficult for you, you can come up and do it on the wall. So I'm here, back is flat, neck is flat. From here I push, and I'm coming off the wall. So I'm engaging here. Okay, and I'm feeling it mid-back. Hold, squeeze. Back, everything touches. Hold, squeeze. Try not to lead with your hips off. Again, you should feel it only in the upper back. Okay, next we have tricep dips. So, again, I'll start off with the movement, and then I'll show you the modified version. So, hands here, legs straight, toes flexed, down, crunch in. So we've got a tricep dip with a crunch. Okay, this is a bit hard on the heels. Come to the knee position, down, up, down. If this is still a little bit too difficult, we can go to the modified chair. So, start here, knees bent, come down, knee in, knee in. Bring the knee to the chest. Don't go too far down, I don't want the shoulders to rotate forward, but I keep the chest up, shoulders back. I'm only engaging the arm here. Oh. Okay, last next exercise we've got inchworms to push ups. So we're going to come down, inchworms, like we're doing day one. Okay, from here, body weight is forward. I go down into a push up, I come back up. Stay with me here for the modified version. We're going to go down. We're going to come onto the knees. We're going to push up. Up off the knees. Back in the air. Come halfway. Back down. We're going to go all the way up. It's going to make us a little bit dizzy. So down to the push up. You should feel the stretch in the hamstring as we go up. Down again. Again, modified version. Come down. Push. Up. For those that can do the full push up, great. Make sure that you took the chin. Oh. Okay. Round one done. Oh. Two more rounds. We're starting again with the squat to the side lunge. Remember, start on your chair. One touch. Out to the side for 20. And then we've got out to the other side for the other 20. If not, we're here in the mat, we're coming down. Out. Make sure the toe's pointing forward, wanna turn it out. Wanna keep it forward, keep the toe pointing straight. Lunge is a little bit more difficult than the forward lunge, working a different plane of motion. Okay, plank get ups. Remember, on your chair if you need to. Stay here. Make sure that you're straight. You're not down, you know, bum's not in the air. If you're here, you're squeezing your coat, you squeeze your bum. Come up. Back down. Or well, you can hold the plank for the 40 seconds. If not, those rolls for a second. If not, back down to the plank, squeeze the bum, up back you straight, come up. Remember to switch the hands after 20 seconds. Okay, if you want to do it here, you want to get the chair, you can be here, you can be on the knees. Try not to swing the hips as you come up. Squeeze the core more. Oh. Oh. Nice back stretch. <sighs> okay, scapula holds. Remember from doing this against the wall, you can. Upper back and head on the wall. Hold, squeeze. Maybe not leading here. It's all 
in the upper back. You should be pushing, driving your elbows into the wall. From a floor position, elbows by the side, driving them in, hold, down. Engage in the core. As I come up, find this to be the best back exercises. Body weight, it's quite hard to do back exercises with body weight, but this one, you really feel it when you come back. Okay, tricep dips on the chair, on the floor. So remember, you meet here, bring the knee in, so tricep, knee in, knee in. You can have your head here, you can have your back, whatever's more comfortable for you. Or you can be here, down, down. You should feel this burning the back of the arm. Mine's still sore from the upper body day two. Crunching and feeling it in the core. Oh. Okay, inch one. Straight up. End of the mat. Coming down here, back is nice and straight. Touch the hands to the floor. Come out. Down into the push up back up, or we can go down, drop the knees, push up, back on the knees, come up, halfway, keep this nice and extended, we don't want to be rounding and coming down like this, we don't want to be coming and doing a push up like this, we want to be over the body, joints stacked, Push up. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Two rounds done. One more round. Starting at the beginning. Squats. Just like lunges. Hmm. Let's go. Here. Chest up, looking straight ahead. Slightly down, but head's not up and head's not down. Switching to the other side. Down, straight, knee tracks, toe forward, push up. Driving off the hip. Driving off the inside of the foot, push back to the centre position. Okay, plank get ups. So, again, on the chair, you start position to squeeze everything, especially the core, especially the glutes. From here, we come up, don't go back down. So, as you can see, my wrist is under my shoulder as I come up. Come down the knees here. Same positioning, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core, and coming up. So we're switching sides now. Oof, I am knackered. It's okay to go slow or as fast as you want. You set the pace. Triceps dips done. One more exercise, then we're finished. Inchworms to push ups. Edge of the mat, take the hips back. Keep back, stay straight, slightly bend the knees, can't touch the floor. No rounding here. 
down on your bushels from my knees. I'm tired. Down, elbows in, don't keep the elbows out to the side. When you go down, track the chin back. Okay, we'll track the double chin. Everything should touch the floor at the same time. Okay, day four complete. Well done. I will see you tomorrow. We've got mobility. So we're going to be working on flexibility, range of motion at the joints. We're going to do exercises to open up the hips. Loosen the lower back, open up the thoracic spine, open up the chest, and I'll see you there tomorrow. Don't need any equipment, just body weight, it's going to be a series of